I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from a, the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. So, there's a lot of opportunity to, to create uh, green space in the cities that we live in. So I think that would be quite fantastic. Oh, and uh, also, what, 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 what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? The, the Robovan. The Robovan is, uh, this is, a, we, we're going to make this, and it's gonna look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick. So this can, this can carry up to 20 people and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. So this is gonna, <laughs> the Reboven is what's gonna solve for high density. So if you, if you want to take a sports team somewhere or um, you're looking to, to really uh, get uh, the cost of travel down to, I don't know, five, ten cents a mile, then you can use the Robovan. Some people call it the Robovan, but... Uh... <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you know, one of the things that we, we want to do, and you've seen this with the Cybertruck, is we want to change the, the look of the roads. You know, the future should look like the future. So, um, speaking of robots, so e everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down. And then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really gonna have something spectacular something that anyone could own. Um, so you could have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. And I think at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction, long term. Now, it'll, you know, take us a minute to get to the long term, but, um, but fundamentally at scale, the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I, th I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Yeah. Because 
I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy.